Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Wait, 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 what are you doing in here? No, no, put that gun down. Put, what are you doing? No! Yeah, take that, you movie meatbag. Now roll that beautiful bean footage. Hello everyone, I'm TK422, and welcome to TK's Take. You may be expecting the final cut. Well, you see, since the movie man here has not done any episodes of my vlog, I decided to be on one of his episodes. So let's get started. Today, we take a shot at Stormtrooper. It's an old one from 1999, starring Carol Alt, Cool Mo D, and that kid from The Lost Boys. But he's wearing an eye patch this time for some reason. I mean, putting an eye patch over one's eye does not make him look any more like a soldier or any taller. If you read the back of the box for the description of the film, it sounds like every sci-fi action film ever made since the beginning of time. What the film boils down to is this guy is a super soldier who escapes a government testing lab and finds his way into a home of a woman who just got rid of her abusive husband. Mercenaries are sent out to get this guy, who we find out is more than meets the eye. Okay, so my first big complaint is this film is false advertising. Never once do you see an actual stormtrooper. I mean, there's no sand trooper, snow trooper, scout walker pilot. You know, those, those guys are idiots anyway, by the way. Adat pilots. Heck, we don't even get an Ewok wearing a stormtrooper helmet. We just get a bad script, cliche dialogue, and a shot of Carol Alt's butt in a rather strange shower scene. I was disappointed by this last part. With it being a Jim Warnarski film, I was hoping for a little more eye candy. Must have been during his conservative period. I was almost ready to bury this in Bantha crap and set it on fire until the last 15 minutes of the film, where there is a big finale where the super soldier reveals what's so super about him, and there's a gun battle. Now, it's a rather lame gun battle. I mean, these guys shoot worse than a rebel soldier whose name is at the bottom of the credit list, but by this point in the film, you're craving for something to happen so badly, you will welcome this battle like a starving Rancor monster welcomes a Twi'lek dancing girl. Sure, it curbs your hunger, but it's kind of chewy and has a bitter aftertaste. This film only gets one take from me. While the film does save itself in the end from suffering from the same fate as Alderaan, the trip through hyperspace may not be worth it for most people. Especially considering you see more skin in Jabba's palace than you do in this film. I mean, this is the guy who brought us The Bear Wench Project and its sequel. Well, thanks for watching and make sure to look for my Lonely Trooper vlog where there will be new episodes posted this year. Right, you movie monkey? That's my take on the movie Stormtrooper. This is TK422 saying so long and thanks for all the fish.